guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today. I just wanted to sit down and debrief with you guys. If I'm being honest, I wanted to sit down and just like talk about the short and sweet pre-sale that turned into the general sale at the end of the week. And I just wanted to see what your guys' thoughts were because you guys always leave like such nice comments and you guys always leave like just thoughtful comments. So I wanted to see how it went for you guys if you guys tried for Sabrina Carpenter tickets, what your thoughts were, and I kind of just wanted to walk you through what I personally experienced and how I failed at getting tickets. Um, Rachel Zero Ticketmaster uh, knocked me out multiple times. So, I was going to say Rachel Zero Ticketmaster 1, however it was more like Ticketmaster 3 or 4 because I tried that many times like in different pre-sales. So, <laughs> Okay, let me just say, I love Sabrina so much. I have loved her for so long. I loved her when she was on Girl Meets World, and then when she started to release music, I really fell in love with her music when she released Thumbs. When Thumbs came out, I was absolutely um, obsessed and fixated, like I, loved that song and of course I had listened to her music before but Thumbs was really like um what like made me play her over and over and over again um and then when Sabrina had a little radio tour for Thumbs to promote Thumbs I got invited by my local radio station at the time and I was able to bring my best friend Bobby and my mom with me and let me tell you that was just like such a special day because I love Sabrina Carpenter so my point is I have loved her for a very long time and I got to see her do like a little acoustic set and I also saw her at Jingle Bash in 2017 um, but I have never seen her do like a full tour of her own so I thought damn here's my chance Raleigh is on a Saturday, that works perfect for me. Even Baltimore was on a Saturday, that's perfect for me. And it's in October, my birthday's October 9th. This is going to be everything I want for my birthday. I just wanna see Sabrina. <laughs> Ticketmaster had other plans. Mm -hmm. So, of course, when she announced the tour, my first thought was my mom, because my mom and I met Sabrina together. We love listening to Sabrina together. My mom is my bestie, you guys know that. Um, and then Emma texted me, she's like, we should try and go. I'm like, yes, so I definitely had people that were ready to go with me, and um, the dates were just, they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. So I signed up for pre-sale. I signed up for pre-sale um, and I was I was hopeful I went into it so like hopeful and I was thinking to myself okay like I'm not letting this like me think like anything except that I'm walking out of this Ticketmaster line with tickets like there was nothing else in my head except oh I'm getting tickets and so <laughs> Um, my, my thoughts decided to say, well, like your thoughts, love the positivity, but you're wrong. Okay. So Monday was the cash app presale and I personally do not have a cash app card, but I have friends who have like, um, cash app cards. And I can tell you that was the most successful sale from what I saw. I did not try in the cash app sale. Like I had no reason to be in the queue because like I said, I don't even have a cash app. Like, um, and the friends that did have a cash app card, I didn't even know that they had one until like, they were like, Oh my God, I have tickets and they were trying for their tickets. So like, of course, um, I, I did not get tickets in the cash app presale. I saw a lot of people get tickets through the cash app presale. It was the very first presale for tour. But that was like, I was like, okay, that's fine because tomorrow is the Team Sabrina presale. And I've been on her mailing list for a long time. And um, it, it was the night before and I was like, wait a minute, I haven't gotten any information about like the presale tomorrow. 
and so I was scouring online and then the morning of I was like wait where is this where's this pre-sale code like I haven't seen anybody say like usually when there's this tour and we're all excited um, online it's like oh my god I sele got selected for pre-sale oh I got waitlist I got like for verified fan but um here's what happened through her mailing list the code was issued and you got it like 30 minutes like at 9 30 the pre-sale was at 10 um you got the code like 30 minutes before 30 minutes before and like that's fine and I was thinking okay that's great because with that that means like there's less people who are gonna just jump in like you know the queue um and it's more of like a you know secured it'll be closer to the time like it it just seems like it, it's gonna work better wrong the code was universal the code was not unique to like the person like say like when I got my heiress tour tickets, like when I've gone through Verified Fan before for like Ed Sheeran, Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, they've been a unique code. Like you're, you've been selected for Verified Fan, your code is this, and it's linked to your Ticketmaster account. What happened with Sabrina is the team Sabrina codes were just universally generated for the venue. So everybody in Raleigh had the same code, everybody in Baltimore, you know, Houston, wherever wherever you were signed up for, Madison Square Garden was the same code. So I got in the queue and it was like 18,000 people and I was like, oh boy. But I was like kind of optimistic because PNC Arena, I've been there multiple times. I've seen Ariana Grande there, I've seen Josh Groban there. Like I've gone to PNC Arena um, multiple times and I've been okay. Um, and I know that their capacity is like 20,000. So I was like, okay, like they couldn't have sold that many in the cash app presale. I'm thinking, you know, cause they're trying to drop different tickets for different presales. Wrong. Um, I got in and the, the line was barely moving by the way. <laughs> um, and then when I got in the whole screen was gray. However, I refreshed two tickets popped up, a couple other tickets popped up. However, it, irritated me to no end because when those tickets popped up they were the cash app presale and you still had to have the code for cash app although it was the team sabrina presale time like on tuesday and there were still like cash app presale tickets that i couldn't get my hands on because it was passworded specifically for the cash app presale like those were still up and i wish they had just like converted it because there were time slots like there there were obviously like there were tickets there but I could not get them because they were a part of the cash app presale and like I said I couldn't participate in that because I didn't have a cash app card um but the cash app sale had ended so it just means like why did those stay up and not get converted over to team Sabrina tickets instead of the cash app sale so that irritated me and then they were gone. They started going to official platinum and um, they were gone. So I was like, all right, checked out, checked out. I was defeated, number one. Then the next day was the Spotify fans first presale. I am an Apple Music girly through and through. I adore Apple Music. It's uh, nobody can convince me to change over to Spotify. I'm just not a Spotify fan. Um, no hate to them. I've just always used Apple Music and I, I like it so much better. I've used Spotify. I kind of said to myself, well, there's no way that I'm participating in the Spotify presale because I don't use Spotify. However, my best friend, Emma, she does. She does. And she was like, well, I haven't gotten a code or anything I haven't gotten an email like I'm not sure um she said she got hers literally when she was already in the queue she was like well I'm just gonna jump in the queue and kind of like see if I get one because she kind of like half expected to get one nobody that we knew had gotten like a code yet so we were like I I don't know if maybe they're not out yet Emma fully jumped in the queue um because she was thinking okay maybe I'm gonna get one she got one however it did not arrive in time for her to purchase tickets in the queue. The problem's always going to be Ticketmaster. Like, I feel like 
Ticketmaster is always at fault. Like, no matter what the issue may be, it's Ticketmaster. Um, but anyways, and Emma said that she got in so fast, um, and then she was trying to like select tickets. She tried typing in um, the code at that point. It had actually come through when she like she got in. Um, she got it while she was actually in there, I think she said. And there were, she was trying so hard and <laughs> Ticketmaster literally refreshed and booted her to the back of the line. So she went, I think she was, when she got in the queue, she said she was like, like 3,000 which is a good number in the queue and when by the time the Ticketmaster kicked her out when she was already in um she went back to like 16 or 17,000 so she was like well that's just not happening like she she definitely um was our best bet and I feel like that was our best bet however Ticketmaster said no 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 strike two you're you're out so then the next day was the venue slash AEG presale. And I was like, okay, maybe because I am subscribed to PNC Arena. I've been there multiple times. Um, I've left them like nice comments. Like um, I've called them and said like how much of like a good service they have. Like they, they're an awesome arena. Cannot say enough good things about PNC Arena. I was like, okay, like. I'm subscribed to their mailing list. Maybe I'll get a maybe I'll get a code. No, their venue presale they didn't have one. Um, <laughs> then, however, somebody let me know. One of my Twitter friends. Then um, there was an AEG presale, and when that AEG presale happened, it was also a universal code. There, it was the same code floating around. I saw the code, I decided to try it, um, and I was at like, I think that time I was at 13,000, something crazy like that, and by the time I got in, well, you guessed it, it was sold out. Like, I didn't even see tickets available then during that round, and so I got defeated for the third time, so then I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna try general sale because... I, everybody else was like so good at getting Loverfest tickets. However, me personally, I was not. I ended up getting Loverfest tickets during general sale. So this was like my, my saving grace in my head. I'm like, okay, if I can get Loverfest tickets, then during general sale, then maybe I have a chance at Sabrina during general sale. There has to be some left, right? Like, Taylor's general sale for the heiress tour was canceled because of God just that whole that whole Debacle, but I was like they definitely would have canceled pre-sale like if there wasn't tickets or you know something had gone wrong so um <laughs> I got in the general sale line and I was at 14,000 and Emma got in line for us and she was on her way to Bush Gardens with her family and she was at like 3,000 so I was like oh okay okay Emma gets in Emma gets in she's trying to select tickets the tickets will not load the tickets will not load and I it was not Emma's fault like it was like spinning it was just doing like this and she had service it wasn't like she didn't have service or something um, it was just spinning. It would not let her select the two tickets. I told her, I was like, come with my mom and I, um, if you can grab three tickets and like, we'll figure, you know, we'll figure it all out. Well, as we can see, Rachel is ticketless. And then, um, my mom was like, you know, she wanted to take me for my birthday, um, to Raleigh and everything like that. And so I was like, well, mom, so sorry I wasn't able to get the tickets and she's like oh like it's okay like maybe we can figure it out we had our we've already booked the hotel like mind you we've already booked our favorite hotel there just because like I knew prices would go up I knew the demand was gonna be there so here's here's the situation now it said tickets sold out check back soon and then later yesterday afternoon like late late yesterday afternoon um 
I saw somebody say that the verified resale was on on Ticketmaster, meaning people can list their tickets on Ticketmaster, but it's at their authority what prices they choose. So as of now, you can buy tickets for Sabrina on Ticketmaster. However, however, the prices are outrageous. The prices are stupid. I have seen $800 for Lower Bowl. I've seen over $1,000 for Lower Bowl. Um, the cheapest I've seen for Lower Bowl is like 400 something, which is just like insane and unfathomable that we've gotten to this point and unfathomable that we, it's so hard to see your favorite artists live anymore. Like, it's a shame that when artists announce tours now, like, it's such like a rush of excitement. Like, it's my favorite thing to see like a whole list of tour dates and then you're like, oh, I'm going to that one. Well, maybe you're not because like who can afford those ticket prices? Like, it is actually insane. So I'm really holding out hope that one of these days I'm going to check Ticketmaster and some lovely person is going to list their tickets for close to face value like i fully understand like because there's taxes and fees and all that that come out when you pay out of Ticketmaster. i fully understand like a little over face value completely get that but hundreds over face value count me slam out i can't mm -mm. um so this was upsetting as a fan like it it, it was and i can't lie like I am upset that I don't have short and sweet tour tickets um but that's just what happened to me and also to boot um you cannot transfer her tickets until three days until the show on Ticketmaster um like Eras tour tickets you right now in the U.S. for the U.S. shows you can transfer the tickets like right now and those shows are in October um, in early November, like they are up for there. You can, you can transfer them to somebody else's Ticketmaster account right now. You cannot do that for Sabrina. Um, because those tickets, even if you were to buy from somebody, which it's so hard to not get scammed, like you have to be so cognizant of like what to look for and, um, like what fonts and what everything that Ticketmaster is using because people are so, um, I hate to say it, but like smart sometimes with their screenshots um, that you like have to like. I, I have like thought maybe, oh, I found like Eras Tour US tickets, you know, for the next round, um, but I have different eyes looking at every single one that I've looked at because everybody, I'm like, people are so insane um, with like photoshopping stuff and like, but my point is, if somebody tells you they can transfer you your Sabrina tickets right now, they can't, they can't. Like that is immediate scam. You can't, um, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Now, if you know somebody like personally, that's like, hey, grabbed an extra ticket, come with us. Um, like, different story, you know? Like, that's totally, totally different. But, God, make sure you 100% trust the person that you are getting tickets from. Um, and only do PayPal goods and services because that protects you as a buyer. And that is important. Because, like I said, in this day and age, <laughs> when Ticketmaster is not on our side, we as fans have to look out for each other because it's insane. But anyways, you guys, I kind of just wanted, like I said, to sit down and yap to you guys about how it went for you um, and how it went for me personally. Um, I want to know if you guys tried down below um, and let me know if you got tickets. If you got tickets, I am so excited for you because Sabrina is such a good performer. Like I love her so much much and to think like that she sold out of these tour dates like i am so proud of her i am so proud of her but as someone who has been a fan for a really long time it is heartbreaking that to think that like i might not be there 
to witness that. But anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much. I hope this video entertained you in some way, and I hope to see you, yes, you, in the next one. Bye, guys.